First here tonight at 11, a Troy teenager carries a loaded gun in his backpack throughout an entire day of school. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. He was arrested, though, just before boarding the school bus to go home Friday. And tonight, parents are voicing their outrage. As you might imagine, many are asking tonight how something like this might have happened. Our Holly Samuels has been working to get some answers for you. Holly? Well, Mark, most suburban school districts never deal with a situation like this, and so students are not searched when they enter the school. And in this case, as you said, it wasn't until the end of the school day that school officials eventually caught word of what was going on. You have to be able to trust your kids in school. That trust had a serious breakdown Friday when police say a 15 year old brought this gun, a 22 caliber pistol, into Troy High School in his backpack. You wonder where the parents are? and how involved the parents are and, and why this sort of thing can happen. Police say the gun belonged to the boy's father and was fully loaded. It's obviously not a toy. Uh, it was loaded nine rounds in the magazine, one round in the gun. Captain Anderson says word somehow got to school officials that the teen had the gun. They informed the school resource officer. He will not say if the boy was showing the gun to his peers or even if he bragged about having the weapon, and they still don't know why he brought it to school. There's still numerous uh, kids at school that we'd like to talk to that may or may not have had interactions with him during the day uh, to shed some light on why he had the gun at school. For parents, the incident is shocking and disturbing, and some say they want to see something done. I think they need to start searching the kids when they go to school, do more, you know, checking their lockers, doing something, because I'm to the point where I homeschool my kids now because I don't like the school systems anymore. It's scary in all schools. It's a shame when we were growing up, you know, we didn't have to worry about lockdowns and, you know, things like that and, and today these kids have to worry about that and it's it's sad. Well the teen is facing a felony charge. He's expected to appear in court this week and I did speak with officers tonight. They tell me that the gun was obtained legally by his father. His father will not face any charges. Reporting live, Holly Samuels, 2 News.